Hi everybody, it's updating time. Um, you do not see all the plugins you need to update, um, but I'll tell you um, what I did for every uh, plugin in this video, and then um, maybe uh, later you just click synchronize and update all the plugins if necessary. First of all, um, these um, plugins got fixes. Um, I completely recalibrated the um, equalizing curves for the signal filters in um, EQT 1A. Um, these were indeed uh, very wrong in the last or uh, previous versions. And um, I took the uh, original uh, measurements um, from the um, from the manual uh, and uh, made this work uh, exactly like the original um, equalizing curves for every um, frequency selection and uh, knob turning and everything. So um, this should be okay now. Let's go on. In uh, something and in something SI we had um, oopsie, <laughs> we had uh, random audio uh, clicks in the signal path and um, that was uh, indeed uh, caused by the new meters. Um, I did something wrong in the code uh, but now that's fixed so we don't have this problem anymore uh, and uh, it works as we would expect it. In the disk treasure and in this treasure compact there was a problem with the um, 10 by 1 opto mode. Um, there were some problems about the attack times that caused uh, distortion and um, loss of uh, gain reduction over time. <clears throat> so if you played maybe five seconds it was okay and uh, later after five seconds you had nearly no gain reduction. Um, so I fixed uh, that, it is okay now, um, all the other modes were okay before. Um, and in the LA1A compressor uh, there was a different uh, gain reduction for sidechain and internal at the same incoming material. So. Um, I changed that behavior that it is exactly the same. That were the fixes. You can also update um, Delay Machine, Delay Machine 2, Lexicon and Lexicon 2. And um, there's nothing special new about the plugins as such, but they have a new feature which you can't uh, uh, control in any way um, or you don't see it but you will need it for the new plugin I can announce now and this is the plugin called Verb Ducker and this as the name says is a ducking plugin for the delays and the reverbs. So let's hear how it sounds. Uh, the lexicon, it's completely to the wet. One more night. One more night. And you could um, mix dry and wet signal here. And now we have the verb ducker plug in in the chain behind the lexicon. And if I activate that, I can mix wet and dry here, so from wet One more night One more night One more night And now you can duck the um, reverb um, with this ducking uh, control One more night One more night so you hear um, the um, reverb signal uh, is being compressed by the dry signal and uh, that also works 
for wet only. And on the recover, um, you can uh, set how uh, fast it will recover. One more night. One more night. Um, this is an overall um, output control for the um, for the end of the plugin, <clears throat> and of course you can um, switch on and off the docking. That works with. Um, all this, those four plugins, the Lexicon, Lexicon 2, Delay Machine and Delay Machine 2. But that only works if you update the, um, the versions. In the MCP meter we have a new feature um, that is only shown in the plugin mode, not in the embedded mode. Um, it's uh, quite simple, I left that as, uh, as a slider here above. And this is where you can set the warn level for your LED. Um, and it has a wide range from minus 24 dB to 24 dB. Default is three. Um, so uh, this always refers to the um, calibration you made, um, but now you can uh, set this little lamp uh, to your wishes. You also need to update the um, compressor with trick uh, too. And that is not because of the compressor itself. It is because the verb docker comes bundled with the compressor uh, 2 and another new plugin comes bundled with compressor 2 and that is the sidechain filter plugin. Um, as you can imagine it's a filter for sidechain. So um, many people asked um, could you please add a high pass filter to the NC76 or to the compressor 2? Um, could you please uh, put a high shelf um, for the detector chain in the LA1A? Or um, give us more freedom on the detector chain uh, of the compressors. So um, I made this uh, side chain filter and um, that's basically uh, an equalizer. I can uh, low pass. One more night. <laughs> I have to enable it. One more night. One more night. And high pass things. One more night. Um, we have these um, frequency uh, dependent uh, shelving filters. One more night. One more night. And uh, in addition to that, uh, there's also one um, uh, full parametric um, peak filter. One more night. One more night. So this is basically a um, simple equalizer. And of course, you can use it as a simple equalizer in listen mode. But let me do something here, uh, which would sound like this. One more night. Instead of this. One more night. And now I put that to sidechain. One more night. And so we have the original signal back and we don't hear what it's doing at all. Um, and that is because the plugin is sending the filtered signal to the sidechain track. And then we can go to any uh, compressor that can uh, handle sidechain keys, activate the sidechain, and now the detector is uh, fed from the filtered signal. So you can um, filter that to your needs, to uh, how you wish the compressor uh, should react to the incoming signal. And um, of course you could, uh, could use these high pass, low pass thingies here um, to um, make a range for de and then use any compressor you like for de -assing. Okay, now that's it for today. 
have fun with the new plugins, have fun with the improved plugins and bye bye.